Oh, if, they, if they're worth, if these droid robes are worth like one coin, I'm gonna be so unhappy. Because they're this pretty much like all I'm getting. I I should really be in the be in the uh, sorry the resource dungeon. You need ten dungeoneering, so I can't get in there. But uh, just I should be in there because there's a Ranar spawn, and so you know I could probably get about ten Ranars a trip, which and then the, which is basically ten prayer potions. Uh, aside from the Rana, you just need to collect some Snape grass, which is really easy to collect. Um, and then that's pretty much just a prayer potion there, and you get tons of it, uh, herb lore XP, tons of tons of prayer potions. Oh my God, more droids robes! Seriously, I'm so unhappy with these robes. Like it's like it's like oh they're dropping. They're not even wearing them. Like I know they are droids, but then they could at least drop the robes that they're wearing. Ah, why are they all bold as well? But oh, they've all got different faces, I think. But they're all bold, and another another robe. Damn you! Damn you to hell! I hate you, Mr. Chaos Droid. Get out of here! I'm just about to level up in range. I'm gonna be really excited, yay! I'm actually glad that I'm going up so many levels in range so easily, just because it's obviously gonna be need to be like my main skill uh, in the future. Range is range is probably gonna be the easiest one for me to train because I only need to train like the one, but with melee you need to train all three, and uh, melee ends up being stronger at the end, but it'll take three times as long to train. Well, not quite that long, maybe two and a half times as long to train. But honestly, I think I'm hitting... I'm hitting really high, even though it's only with range. I'm not sure why I'm hitting so high. Like, I would have thought it would have been a bit lower than this, but I suppose it's still only as low. Hmm. Still quite high for the level, though. Especially if I was to get some better arrows. But, hmm... Um, especially with a crossbow, man. A crossbow is like godly. The damage that it deals is just ridiculous because the the range strength bonus of a of the bolts is so high. Maybe I could get a Carol's crossbow, but I couldn't really. No, I couldn't unless I was to pray mage on the KBD. Just thinking, Carol's crossbow. Yeah, I could pray mage instead of standing in front of him and pray melee, but I could use a Carol's crossbow. And if I could get 70 ranged, I would be guaranteed the kill pretty quickly with a Carol's crossbow. It fires really fast and really accurate, and it's really, really tough. It's used in PvP a fair amount uh, because it is just so strong. But it's the main reason it's not used is because you can't go and pick up the bolts, and they cost like 200 each. But of course, I'd be getting them all myself, so I wouldn't really need to pay for them. That's actually qu it's quite a good idea if I could manage to get a Carol's crossbow, because I'd have to get one from the Barrow's chest, and the chance is it's like 1 in 8 or 1 in 16 or something just to get something from the chest, and then you have to remember that the chance of then getting the item that I want is like, I think it's... Is there 24 items out of all of them? It might be like 30. No, there's 6, so it's 36 items. No, 20. Um, 24 items. So there's a 1 in 24 chance. If we just say that it's a 1 in 24 chance of me getting an item, and then it's a 1 in 4 24 chance of me getting the item that I want, then I'm pretty screwed. Because that takes the chance of me getting a Carol's crossbow down to one in like a thousand chests. And I'm not going to go do a thousand chests. But you know, I could get lucky. Like, when Guthin Spears were worth seven mil, I got like two of those. I managed to lose one and then go and get another one. Uh, don't ask me how I lost it, I'm an idiot. And most intelligent people, and that was back ages and ages ago when 7 mil was a f quite a lot of money. Um, well, it was a moderate amount. It wasn't like, you know, the richest person in the game, but. 
you know, it was it was quite a lot of money for just a weapon. It was before God Swords and everything like that. And Guffins was really sought after because there was no soul split, no nothing. It was pretty much the only thing that could heal you, uh, like for the damage that you do. And it used to be really useful on Slayer tasks and stuff like that. At least I just got, got I got a couple of Guam in the past couple of kills, which is awesome. I just got some Cadentine, which I will have a use eventually. Oh, sweet, 22 prayer. Nice. More prayer points, rapid heal, void equipment. You could go and get full void. Like, that would only take, oh, I don't know, 10 hours worth of gameplay. Hmm, which is what, 40 episodes maybe if they were half an hour each long. So, you know, I could maybe shoot myself in the face while I'm there, shoot everyone that's watching in the face, and that might be just about as bearable. Hmm, yeah. So I think full void is not going to happen. Uh, maybe not recording, but I seriously still doubt it. Like, it's just n it's not really going to happen. I had enough trouble getting full void on what I did was because I'm uh, I'm high enough level two. I went on a special world for like only level 115 pluses, and you know you pre you you get you can complete the the things in the same time as the low level boat, but you get twice the amount of tokens. So you know you do it so much faster and. That was pretty much the only way that I could bear getting full void. If I was to lose it, I would actually cry. Like, I probably wouldn't go and get it again. It took me so long, it was unreal. I even I even invited my little brother, who wasn't quite high enough level, to come and do it. But I knew that he kind of knew what he was doing, so he... And, you know, he was, it wasn't like, like a newbie low level. Well, he was, but he, he kind of knew what he was doing because I was telling him what to do. You know, like, attack the portal, defend the Void Knight. Wow, that's so difficult. If you don't know what pest control is, by the way, you should Google that junk. It's um, it's fun for, you know, about the first 300 games, but then you start to shoot yourself in the head. Which, hmm. It's quite unfortunate after that many games. Now I've used up a lot of arrows. I've used like a hundred arrows. Which definitely makes this a lot cheaper than magic, and I've I've really noticed a difference just in the few levels that I've got. Like I've noticed a massive difference in the uh, damage that I've been dealing. And another Guam, I'm on a roll. I'm on a sausage roll. Going down, cha cha cha, and bam, death to all chaos droids. Boom, twenty four. Boom, 22. Boom, dead. Bones. Bury the bones. Myth bolts. Excellent. This means I can kill another one. No, it doesn't. Ah, myth bolts. Oh, man. I only just realized they're exactly what I need to kill the KBD. I've only got three of them, but it's a start. Like, yeah. That's nice. Three? I would probably only need a hundred at most, so... Hmm. Three could definitely work out for now. I'm sure that there's other things that drop them as well. I'm not exactly sure what it, what those things are. Actually, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go start farming. Like, it's really important that I go and start farming. Basically what I need to do is, I need to level up once, so I need to basically waste a few potato seeds on leveling up a few times because they're going to die, because I need to be level 2 to plant marigolds in the middle which stop potatoes, onions, cabbages, uh, all the low level stuff, I'm not sure about cabbages, but all the low level stuff from dying, uh, it completely protects it, which is awesome. But um. I'm going to use just buckets of compost on it to start, like, uh, I, that's, that reduces the chance of it dying. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and there's a, there's a shop just down here, which I didn't know, the, the farming stools 
there is actually a shop just next to them which sells seeds and that. I know that it sells marigold seeds, I'm not sure about potato seeds, but I've got a few. I've got enough for now. Um, I could do with being able to buy some, but meh. You know, you can't have everything. I'm going to put all my herbs into a separate tab. And that is going to be my herb tab. Because this bank, I'm going to sit here maybe and sort this bank out like right now. It needs to be sorted. It's really urgent now. Maybe the next one should be for like anything to do with combat. So if I just put my keen blade in the next tab. And then, hmm. Well, my, I'm gonna, it's going to be melee and range is the next one. So anything that I use for melee and range will be in the next tab. But anything from magic will be in this one. <laughs> so let's see, if I just put a magic staff there to symbolize that it's magic, because I'm never going to use a magic staff, but you never know. No, that didn't really make much sense. Right, let's carry on. Okay, and skills tab is going to be the next one, so I'll put... I saw a steel axe in... Ah, oh, I'll just use an iron hatchet. So anything to do with skills goes in the next one. This one can be melee... Uh, 17 Guam. I am beast in it. That is a lot. Okay, skills. Food. Food can be the next one. Chickens. It's just a note. Ah, oh, I'll be able to sell these to actually a shop. For one each, so you know, I'll be able to get like 50 gold or something. I don't think there is actually a general shop in Draenor, which is weird. Let's see, let's trade the woman. I do believe it's this woman. Yes, she sells 10 potato seeds! Marigold seeds, marigold. Wow, cheap. Obviously, that's provided. But no, wait, does she? There we go, marigold seeds. That's a, they're expensive. I'm just gonna. Oh crap! I accidentally just pushed by five. I meant to push, but like I meant to buy three. But oh man, potato seeds and oh, marigold seeds. I can't take them. I can't. No. No potato seeds. God damn you! You cruel, cruel bastards. Right, let's see, spell storm drip goes up there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna organise a little bit every time I come to the bank. And then in a few minutes it'll be like organized, all fine. So, you know, sitting here organizing the whole bank isn't the funnest thing. I should have a separate one for strange rocks. So I know like what strange rocks I've got, which reminds me I need to sort that out. I need to go and do my strange rock things. I'll just do the skill with the strange rock attached to it. Right, let's see, what did I want? Some potatoes. What else did I want? Seeds should definitely go with. Should definitely go with herbs. Right, I wanted my. I got my farming equipment, I suppose. So I need my other potato seeds. Potatoes. Potato seeds. Nope, can't accidentally pick up the marigold seeds, but there is another ton of marigold seeds, potato seeds, and onion seeds on there. I am so unhappy. Let's see if she's got any more potato seeds in stock. I'm going to really need some lo like loads. Ah, oh, sweet. She gets them back pretty quick. Damn you. Right, if I was to have the level to steal from that, I could, could get some from stealing from the stall. It's quite, I was a fairly high level, I think, like 32 or something like that. Cabbages! I love you, cabbages. Let's go. Right, so now the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to plant both cabbage thingamajiggies. Um, let's see, let's exchange. No. So I've got no compost. Crap. I think there might be a, a woman that sells farming supplies inside this house over here. But like, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there. The jing, bingo, bitch! Come over here. Come on. Come on. Let me trade you. Nice sleeping dog there. 
Right, so she doesn't, she doesn't really sell anything useful, but does she? Compost. Two of those. Some buckets, some empty sacks. Ah, she sells baskets. Sweet. Basket pack, raw potatoes. Nothing really. Plant cure. I'm gonna buy one of those. I'm not actually sure if it will like heal my dead potatoes. But I'm gonna find out. If it does, I'm definitely gonna use it to heal my dead potatoes. See my farming level it's just about to level up. I literally only need one patch to grow. Which is why I'm planting the two now. And why I've got two buckets of compost and and all that stuff. But let's No actually I'll get up a level just from raking all of this. I knew that there was something easier that I could do. Screw it, right, I'm planting some goddamn stuff in the middle. I need to get marigolds here. Where's the other farming patch that I can actually get to? There's one in Camelot, but I can't get to Camelot for shit. It takes so long. This will just have to be the only one that I do for now. Until I think of where the others are. Oh uh, yeah, there's one in Camelot, and then, the, yeah, they're, they're all so far away. Like, ah, oh, sweet. Just the right amount. And I can put the weeds in there and get some compost. Nice. Maybe I'll plant all of them. Like, it can't do any harm. Let's see. Compost. I really badly need this to live. This is the one. Oh my god, you get so much compost in as well. Bull sacks. Seriously. Get in there, potatoes. Boop, boop. What level is it to plant guam? Like, let's find out. Okay, return to skill guide. Tree special other produce. Why not? Guam, level 9. So I've got quite a way to go before I can do guam anyway. But when I can do guam, I'll be in there. I'll be knowing what I'm doing. Right, um, I'm gonna grab some empty buckets while I'm here, like as many as I can grab in the inventory. Because you put the weeds inside the compost bin, and then it like all breaks. It all like breaks down, and then you can grab it all, and it's just a nice, a very nice thing. Yeah, it all, you can then collect compost from it, and then you know you can compost all the places, and even though it doesn't, I think it increases yield. Um, maybe not as much as super compost, but the the amount of XP that you get for it, like 18 for each, is enough to make me do it anyway. Use compost on there. None have grown yet. Real unfortunate. Plant my potato seeds. Boop boop. Right, let's see. Let's put all these weeds in here. I think you might get XP for picking it out of the compost bin or putting it in one or the other. See anything good? Nope. Just can't even close it. Didn't even get enough for that. Ah. Right. I'm gonna go try and grab some more, some more potato seeds. Right. Is there anything else that I need to do? Not really. I should kind of train thieving, but like, meh. Don't really need to right now. No, I, can, I can give it a bit. There's not anything important that I need to like pick, like steal from or anything like that. Let's see what level is it. Twenty-seven. That's not actually that high. So maybe I will do it next time. You never know. You never know. Right, buy all of those. And goodbye.